What's going on everybody? It's your boy James here from Super Threat FIFA and today I am back with another episode of Chroma. This is episode number 22, I do believe. And um We do we do have our and our first game of the day is against Chris Piles in the Capital One Cup. And just before we play that, we have to do a little we have to do some stuff. First of all, we do look at the calendar. We do have Crystal Palace and Watford, and then we do have, uh, <coughs> a trip to Spain uh, to face the Catalan Giants, Barcelona, and the Camp Nou. And uh, just before the game, Lloyd Isgrove wanted to get in. He was hoping we could be experimenting with the squad, and uh, he is going to be starting. And Florin Gardos isn't really happy. He wants a bigger role. And, but I just I don't think he, he can be offered that because he is like fourth choice centre back after jo or oh, maybe fifth for Jones, um, Nastasic, Kirchhoff, and Lascelles. Those are the four defenders in front of him. You know, I'll be honest, he's basically just backup, so we might have to shift him on in January if he keeps complaining. But we do face Crystal Palace here at um Oh I've forgotten Crystal Palace Stadium. Um hold on. Come to me in a second. Um Oh, I forgot. I genuinely have forgotten. Now I feel so stupid. I normally know it. I want to know Bowling Grounds West Ham. What am I talking about? <clears throat> okay, let's see. Selhurst Park. There we go. It's just, it's avoided my mind. But uh, as you can see in the 30th minute, um, <clears throat> Sam Gallagher gets on the ball and scores a pretty amazing goal. And, um,. I mean, Mayuko was, wasn't that selfish, um, and, uh, Salaga, Sam Gallagher gets the goal, and I know this commentary has been awkward for now, but trust me, it'll get better, I'm sorry, but, uh, anyways, straight after that, when Yama picks up the ball here, runs past all of the defenders, gets into the box, and tries to round the goalkeeper, but Wayne Hennessy, the Welshman, takes out the Kenyan international, um, <coughs> Uh, Victor Wanyama, and uh, eventually Sam Gallagher. I, I gave it to Sam Gallagher just because I, I don't know, I wanted him to get a hat trick. So eventually, I did give it to Sam Gallagher, and he does go ahead and score. But I originally thought I'd t overpowered it because if you looked when I shot it, it was in the orange, so I was kind of scared. But so as you can see, Lloyd Isgrove is on the ball here, hoping um, to repay the man my faith in him and he does just about that when he swings it into Patrick Roberts. Bear in mind, Patrick Roberts is one of the smallest people on the field and he beats about three beats out three players to the ball. Look at that. Pow! Beats out the goalkeeper and two defenders. And I just thought that was pretty funny because uh, two, two, two right mids who were fighting uh, to get in the first team uh, combined there to score an absolutely uh, amazing team goal but as you see my Yuka's on the ball here he runs inside the box I try to give it off to Gallagher to get his hat trick but it ends up becoming a very funny own goal as you can see look Sam Gallagher goes for the header I guess he kind of nudged him into it um the number 50 I guess Gallagher nudged into the number 51 and he gets a goal and uh sadly it will Sadly for them, it's an own goal, and uh, Mayuka came close to getting a fifth in the 85th minute, but it's put over wide. And my one Yama has a final has our final chance of the game, run right the 90th minute, but he does end up hitting the post. And uh, then Mayuka has uh, a shot sell well saved by uh, Wayne Hennessy, and that's how the game finished a 4 0 victory for the Saints. And the Saints go marching on. We totally destroyed Crystal Palace, they had no shots on goal. And uh, this is how the table looks. We will be playing Watford um, in the next round, and um, it's pretty funny because we do face Watford next. But after the game, we saw that we needed to uh, make the squad for the next few international games, and we do receive four grand from the board. And so, yeah, we did face Watford here at St. Mary's Stadium. And, um, 
if you could hear that, I'm sorry, but if I kind of talk to it, it's like the ghosts and ghoulies come out for Halloween, and, uh, but yeah, it's Halloween day, everybody, and, uh, we were really hoping that we could get a win, uh, for the, for the kids, you know, it's a Saturday, you know, bring, the, bring the kids to the stadium, watch the game, and then go out, go, go back home, uh, put on your costumes and go out trick-or-treating, um, so we were really hoping we could get the win, um, you know, just as a kind of little fan thing, um, but we did, and we did go with a, a uh, pretty strong lineup. Uh, Kirchhoff playing his first game back, I think. No, he played another game. But uh, anyways, Kirchhoff playing, that's just a highlight. And then Watford, the newly promoted team, of course, with Gomez, the Brazilian ex-Spurs player. And uh, goalkeeper, I should say. And uh, Troy Deeney on the bench. What? By its agency in the third minute, Will Hughes is on the ball. He's lurking outside the box, waiting for a chance, and eventually he gets one, and he takes it beautifully by knotting it straight into the back. And, um... It is a very good goal by our young English starlet, and, uh... I don't, I don't know, because... I don't know how to play Will Hughes because I really like him. I love him on this game. He's so he's like a younger version of Tadic. Not as good, but I mean his passing is very good. His shooting's very good. Uh, his all-round technical play is very good. Will Hughes and I really like him. And uh, he he does get off the first goal of the Barclays Premier League season for him. And then we get a good free kick. Will Hughes is again on the ball. Fake sure it quickly passes it on to. Um, Sado Barahino and he Barahino buries it in the bottom left hand corner to beat Gomez and put us up to nil here and you know the fans were certainly getting what they paid for two goals in 33 minutes and uh, you know look at that I Gomez has a pretty bad day I'll be honest um look at that he just he barely just he just gets um out jumped and I feel in like FIFA 14 that would have been saved but you know now that the, there's all these all new reactions blah 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 you know the drill um you know a lot di- a lot more different goals can be scored and uh, Will Hughes does another one sorry if my computer's making weird sounds but uh, Will Hughes gets a second goal of the second goal of the game and you know he gets one of those bounces off the goalkeeper's legs just really nothing you can do if you watch here, Mane passes it back. It's a v- ferocious shot, and it actually ends up hitting the nutsack of Gomez. And you know he's 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 already having a bad day, and now his family jewels are gonna be v- in v- a lot of pain. But uh, in the 90th minute, terror strikes. As you can see, Sadio Mane goes down holding his leg, and uh, he is gonna be out with three months with a. He tears some quadricep tear? I don't know. I can't remember the name. But he's out for three months. And uh, as you can see, he starts running. And something snaps in his leg. And uh, that kind of sucks. But is Grove his replacement? Uh, does make up for it um, by showing the f- by showing why he should be picked week in, week out. Good shot. But eventually Flanagan gets on the ball. And uh, it's 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 kind of one of those things where, you know, Fl- um, is Grove did all the work. You know, did the running. Pulled off the shot, but um, uh, Flanagan, you know, just about sneaks in, and look at that, you know, he's the first one to react, and uh, it's a very good goal. And Gomez, like I said, he is having the worst days of days as a goalkeeper. You know, if you have these days, they're like nightmares. It's like Pantin Lamont, or it's not not in Pantin Lamont. Uh, Vito Manone in real life at the weekend, you know, he got absolutely destroyed 8-0 by Southampton and uh, you know it's just one of those days you want to forget you're a footballer and it's it's one of those nightmare days but uh anyways no other games were played uh I think that I think that means basically they're played later on in the day um so the fans were going to have ha- going home happy and as you can see a torn calf muscle so it's out for three months and this is the Champions League group we top it with two wins and a loss uh nine goal score but six conceded and uh, we're ahead by one point, just edging out Galatasaray. And uh, here's another we entering November, maybe October. I don't know. I forgot the month. But uh, now that we're entering the new month, we do show the squad. Uh, we do show the team. We're sitting in third, and uh, here's Captain One Cup. Just to make, just to prove my point, we are playing Watford. And uh, so yeah, we did have um, the f- uh, score report, and we've only kept clean. 
three clean sheets in 15 games, I think. And that's very bad. We really need to shore up our defense next season. But a lot of people are growing. Um, like Will Hughes, uh, Melanda, Berahino, Will Prowse, Todd Kane, uh, Is Grove, you know, all these young players. Patrick Roberts, like, man, he's grown by a huge amount. Josh Sims as well. Target is crazy. McQueen. All these young players are growing, and it's very nice to see. Um, you know, because I'm not, I'm barely even played them. Uh, Gallagher hasn't gone up. That kind of sucks. Um, I barely played them, and I guess they kind of just naturally grow, but. I, I don't play them that much, and uh, they do end up going by quite a bit. I mean, Shane Long, of course, I play him week in and week out. Uh, Harrison Reed, I think he's gonna, he's going to be amazing soon. I mean, give him two more seasons, and he's going to probably be in the high 70s. And, uh, you know, I don't really... I, I've never looked at the forehead potentials. Uh, I just go off of what, you know, how they're doing in real life. You know, like Ross Barkley, of course, he's going to have a high potential. Um so that's, you know, maybe if I was Manchester City, that's who someone I would sign for the future. But uh, we did go to the new Camp to face the Catalan Giants, like I said. Um, FC Barcelona uh, with all their might and glory. Claudio Bravo and gold, Danny Alves. Um, Neymar, Suarez, Iniesta. Just to name a few high-profile players. You know, there's no Messi, there's no... Aiden Hazard, so maybe just about we can edge this game, and there are no replays in this game, because so, uh, just because the amount of goals that are scored, oh my gosh, I scored there's so many goals scored in this game, it's it's amazing. But uh, we did go, we were going with an all out lineup here, probably our strongest lineup, and as you can see in the 14th minute, Shane Long edges out Gerard Piquet and rounds the goalkeeper just to get us one nil up here in the 15th minute and the new camp is silenced and again Shane Long has a shot it falls to Danny Ings and he smacks it in the top left hand corner and all these goals go all these goals go pretty fast paced so if you want to pause and rewind that go ahead and do that but uh, Suarez then gets a lucky goal lucky goal just about beating uh, Fraser Forster but then Shane Long wants another and he gets another by burying it in the bottom hand corner plus pl 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 Past our Chilean goalkeeper, and then Gerard De La Feo is on the ball. Good shot, it's saved, but eventually it falls to Luis Suarez, the one person who you wanted and wanted to follow. And they almost got to 3 3, but thankfully it was a save. And for some reason, it was a penalty. I don't even know how that was a penalty. I was fuming at the time, but Hazard steps up and scores, and it's 3 3 here at the new camp. And uh, sadly, Oscar plays a beautiful, beautifully weighted pass in. I pull the goalkeeper out, but Hazard just lifts it over Frazier Forster, and it's 4 3 to the Giants. And we do get edged out. If you want to go back and watch that, I, I think you probably should. But uh, this is going to be the end of the episode. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed, drop a like. Sporting CP did beat Galatasaray 2 1, so we are sitting second. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode tomorrow. So peace out.